Well, I've been uh, playing UFC on the spiel a couple of times a week. Um, I think that'll help. Um, I've been trying hard to beat my opponents on there. So I've learned some new stuff. I think it'll come to help us in the fight tomorrow. Well, I'm uh, good on the floor. I like to uh, do my work on the floor, but I've been working hard on my stand-up. We'll see what'll happen. No, not really. I just do the same thing. I didn't bother getting wound up about what he does. I just go to do what I can do and let him worry about what I'm going to do, really. Well, I'm going to see what it's like standing, and if uh, if I think um, it's going the wrong way for me, I'm going to take him down, stretch his neck. Well, hopefully I go and do good. Um, I'm unbeaten as now. Uh, hopefully it stays that way, and I'll see him when I get my new glasses. Ladies and gentlemen, our next bout is the semi-pro middleweight British title bout. It's to be fought on the two five-minute rounds, and it's sponsored by Jason Wilson Roofing. Introducing first, in the blue corner, weighing in at 84.1 kilos, representing Leeds Cage, John Waterhouse. John Waterhouse from Leeds, 32 years old, six foot tall, mixed martial arts records, one and two. His discipline is kickboxing and MMA. Fought against very tough opponents. And his opponent in the red corner, weighing in 83.6 kilos, representing Sullen Jiu Jitsu and Mixed Martial Arts Club. It Mick the Brick Lens. Mick Lens from Sunderland, 26 years old, six foot tall. His mixed martial arts record is four and zero. His discipline is Jiu Jitsu and boxing. He is the title holder. In Lenz's corner, Dean Black and Ben Ashman, both very good fighters in their own right. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a semi-pro middleweight British title bout to be fought on the two five-minute rounds, sponsored by Jason Wilson Roofing. Introducing first in the blue corner, weighing in 84.1 kilos, representing Leeds Cage, Mr. John Waterhouse. In the red corner, weighing in 83.6 kilos, representing Sun and Jiu-Jitsu and Mixed Martial Arts Club, Mick the Brick Lens. Your referee for this bout, Mr. Neil Hall. I've been told that John Waterhouse has basically been living in the gym, his instructor John Hygo. Very, very good all round fighter. Doesn't mind keeping a stand on the ground. Against the unbeaten Mickey Lenz. None of his, none of his fighters have gone past the first round. Round one. This is one I've been looking forward to for a long time, Michael. Yeah, same here. Every time uh, Mickey Lenz fights, you look forward to it. He's always exciting. And really, I mean, John Waterhouse, I'd say, is probably one of his toughest opponents. This will be very interesting to see where this goes. I think sometimes... Nice throw from Lenz there. Sometimes people can get... go on too much about records. You know, yes, you can have a 6-0 record if you're fighting small shows and fight against weak opponents, but John Waterhouse certainly has not done that. No, he's fought very good opponents, um, that, that's true. And uh, once again, he's fighting a very good opponent today in Mickey Lenz. And you can see just the, the, the strength on Mickey Lenz is quite unbelievable, isn't it? It certainly is. I mean, he started with such a flurry of punches. It slowed down a little bit. John Waterhouse going on his side. Mickey Lenz found it very hard to keep him flat there, Michael. Yeah, Waterhouse is known to have a good ground game. Um, and really, what house are we looking now? Just at advanced position, really. But as I've said, Mickey Lenz is very strong. He seems to have quite a strong base there as well. But John Waterhouse is a slippery customer, so they should be very interesting to see 
and where they go from here. I mean, Lenders keeping active with the strikes is there as well, which is obviously important. He's looking for a back hammerlock. Lenders looking figure for a figure four hammerlock. Or arm lock. Waterhouse doing very well to defend that. This should be interesting from here, Peter. Well, both can throw big shots. You know, anybody can get knocked out, Michael. Anybody yeah, can I mean, the chin. Both guards are very tight, aren't they? They're both guys look very tight standing up, so both know what they're doing. Whoa, Whoa. big strike from Lens there. This is excellent dirty boxing here, Michael. Yeah, I mean, look at those strikes. He's landing real big strikes. They're, they're major strikes. Whoa, that looks nasty, that, Michael. Yeah, he's home to cut, hasn't he? That looks nasty, that cut. Gonna, well, he has called the doctor in. It doesn't look good, this, with John Waterhouse here. Again, you know, if this gets stopped, John Waterhouse has been very unlucky, you know, because he's excellent technique. Um, but it's over to the doc doctor now, Michael. No, that's it. And as you say, M M Mickey Lenders was very... That looks nasty, that. That's, that is very, very bad. I don't think they're going to allow this to go on, Peter. That's going to need stitches. It looks like it's come from both eyes, doesn't it, Peter? It's definitely over his right eye, which means the blood's gone into um, his eye. And it looks like it's gone all the way over to the other eye. You can see how upset John Waterhouse is. He's worked really hard for this fight. Good celebration by Mickey Lenz, almost fell out the cage there. <laughs> Known to some people as Mickey Armstrong. But well done to both fighters. Uh, anything can happen. Fight us to the centre, please. And ladies and gentlemen, present, presenting the awards for this bout, Mr. Terry McDougall, who's 10, and not, 10 out on an MMA record, has set up his own company, sponsoring the night, demonfightwear.com, and he's been presenting the awards. While the medic is busy patching up, Mr. Stocks, sorry, Mr. Waterhouse. The results are after round one, after stoppage, after the doctor stoppage, after two minutes and seven seconds, your winner, Mick the Bricklands. Now let's hear it for his opponent, Mr. John Waterhouse. Hopefully we'll get to see a rematch of this one. And coming quite soon.